Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. For today's video, I'm going to make some DIY bookmarks with things that I already have at home. I made a bookmark for my mom for Mother's Day, which really motivated me to make more. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. For the bookmarks, I'm using 300 GSM hot press watercolor paper. So here are the measurements that I will be using for the bookmarks, but you can make them in any size that you want. I would really recommend using thicker paper for bookmarks, especially when you are planning to use watercolors or any kind of paint on it. Okay, starting with the first one, I went with my favorite method of making the paper look a little bit vintage. That is painting it with a mixture of coffee and water. The best thing about this is it will smell great too i don't know about you but i really love the smell of coffee and after i was finished with this my whole room was smelling like coffee and i wasn't complaining so i decided to make two of these with this technique and i did a few layers of the mixture until i was happy with the color of the paper and you get the best result when you let it dry by itself but if you're impatient you can use a heat tool to dry it quickly like I did and I am a really impatient person so there was no way I was going to wait for it to dry to add another layer and wait for that to dry as well and then add another layer and so on you know so after it was completely dry i cut this triangle shape out from the first bookmark to give it a little bit of a different shape and i wanted this one to be super simple so i used my tombow brush pen to write what a plot twist you were which i really liked for a bookmark quote after that i used my compass to punch a hole at the top so that i could tie a thread through it it's not exactly a thread it's more of like a thin rope but i used it to hang off the bookmark so that you can put it inside the book and the rope thing is hanging out of it now you can always use ribbons or yarn for this but this rope is all i had so i'm just tying it and then i wanted it to be a little bit more fancier so i separated it into three sections and braided it to the end and at the end i just tied a knot and that is our first bookmark done For the second one, this whole footage is a bit sped up because I end up changing it in the end. I used the coat, it is what it is and also added the rope similar to the one before. But I wasn't really happy with this so keep on watching till the end to see how I changed this one at the end because I love the final look of this one so we'll continue this later. Next, we are using watercolors for the next two bookmarks. I messed up a few of these but for the one I'm painting right now, I really wanted light pastel shades. So I'm using very diluted paint here and creating this four color gradient. I used light blue, light orange, light pink and light yellow for this one which gave this really pastel gradient effect which I really liked. So after it was completely dry, I went with a quote that would be fit for any book that is just one more chapter and I also drew a little book at the end and this is how it turned out. For the next one, I wanted a black bookmark, so I painted the whole thing black with a few layers of black watercolor first, and then I decided to paint some daisies on it because I thought daisies would look great on the black background, and I used acrylic paint for this.
After making a few of these daisies and leaves, I sprinkled on some white paint and did the rope thing again. And at this time, I found a paper punching machine, which made it a lot more easier to make the hole for the ribbon or rope to get through. And that's basically it for this one. Next we have another watercolor one and I wanted to make super simple bookmarks for this video so I just created another gradient effect but with darker colors this time I used more blues and purples. So I went with the quote or you can even call them lyrics that says if it's meant to be it will be baby just let it be. So with the bookmark that I didn't like before, I just turned it over and made a rough sketch of a feather and then I used my Tombow brush pen to draw the feather and cut it out leaving a small gap from the outline. This didn't really affect the rope that I had already put on there and I love how this turned out. I'm definitely using this for my Harry Potter books and that is it for this last bookmark. I love how this one turned out, especially seeing how boring and blunt it was before. So that's all the bookmarks that I made for this video. I really hope you liked them. Don't forget to leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!